Hello, Rav. Thank you. I heard that you said that one does not live only on bread, so we shouldn't limit ourselves. So I'm asking about a personal interest. I'm interested in many things that have nothing to do with Kabbalah, music and history. Should I get rid of my interest I have in these things? They're not essential for my existence. Yes, if it's not necessary, get rid of it. Get rid of it. You're not uh, gaining anything from it. Yes. Focus group. Focus groups, two questions, no more. Yes, two questions. One Elad from Afula says he has a lot of free time, uh, dead time during the day that you can't do anything because the, your evil inclination doesn't let you. What can you do if your mind tells you you have to increase exertion, but still you're only calming your body down? Arrange the group in such a way that it will obligate you, it will pressure you with uh, the daily uh, routine, the daily schedule and all kinds of such things so that you will be obligated to be connected with them and to perform certain actions together with them. I'm telling you, this struggle is a constant struggle, it's constant. And I will tell you one thing only. From 1.30 a.m. when Rabash would get up, and even before that, but let's say from 1.30 a.m. until he would go to sleep at 9 p.m., each and every moment I would know what he's going to do, what he's doing. I was next to him, or maybe I wouldn't be next to him. He was always busy with sleep, well, walking, uh, eating, and studying. So that's it. There is no more. Walking, I mean also, well, um, taking a bath, going to the sea maybe, or to the forest, to the woods, doing some uh, sports. He had his uh, bicycles at home that he would be uh, riding. He was very athletic. So everything, however, was calculated precisely from when till when. Yes. One more question. There are certain states where you feel complete indifference, even if you're studying and you're performing actions of connection. So the group comes and it uh, obligates you. Of course, each and every one of us have uh, such states and we're going to have more and more of them. It's not a wonder. You will feel how much it burdens you. If I'm not obligated, if nobody forces me, I will not get out of bed. My nature is simply to lie down, truly so, to lie down. And this is how it is throughout my whole life. He's asking if this state you just described is an invitation to build a, a, a relation of dust on our behalf. We have to, uh, above our actions, to build a level of dust, that we want to be annulled towards the Creator and towards all of the discernments that He awakens in us. I want not to demand anything for myself. As it says, my soul shall be as dust towards everything. This is how I need to be.